Alright, so today's launch didn't go according to plan at all, and, uh, yeah, um, I'm just gonna say this quite, to be quite honest, um, we're gonna have to send up two additional satellites, I'm gonna be removing one of them, um, because it's not in the orbit that I want it to be, even though it's at the correct point in its orbit that I want it to be, which, I mean, I, 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 I don't know if I can adjust it, but we're going to see what I can do. All right, so, you know, I've been down for a while. Uh, I've been a little bit busy making meshes for a community that I'm a part of, and... I'm going to be real here, it's a little bit more complex than that, but uh, let's just get into this. Um, We could do a deep space probe mission, but that would take a little bit of time to set up. So I think we're going to go mess around with hypersonics again. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this was a, uh, that, that project kind of failed. I mean, it worked, but it failed in the fact that I'm going to have to put, um, I'm going to have to put, uh, external power sources on there because it just... Here's what we need. So yeah, I decided to, like, yesterday I decided to stick a cockpit on here and to see just how well it would do. The answer is, it did okay. It wasn't, it wasn't bad at all. There are some things that I wouldn't prove about it, but other than that, um, yeah, it, it flew okay. It does have, this does have, like, this does have quite a bit of range to it, um, although landing it is a little bit tricky and it does tend to, it does tend to jitter when landing, which isn't particularly good. That's probably because the landing gear, I'm, I'm at the limit of what these landing gear can hold. But here's the problem when it comes to landing gear. The next tier up is are these landing gear here, these ones. You can see these are more low profile. I like these because this keeps it relatively low to the ground. Um, now this thing can pivot just fine. There's no risk of tail strikes here. I've had aircraft in the past that kind of had a tail strike issue, but But I'm going to be real here. This aircraft is kind of fun to fly. Um, it kind of... It does have its issues and shortcomings, meaning, meaning it does... 
it does suffer from high G loading and the wings can be iffy if turning at a very high speed. They can just kind of destroy themselves. But other than that, everything's fine with this. Um, We aren't going to be using this though today. Uh, actually, we're going to be strapping a payload to the back of this. Um, Do we even need to strap a payload? Let's let's actually go and launch something else. Let's let's not let's not use space planes today. Oh great, we're back here. I didn't want to be back here, I just clicked that instinctually. Ah, uh, this is why I shouldn't be looking at my phone while recording, but it is what it is. We do have one thing that we can do. Um, I do need to send up a third messenger relay. Now, that is something we can do. Just want to make sure everything is staged correctly here. We have more than enough fuel, more than what we need actually. I could probably send, I could probably afford to send one of these to Laith, to, 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 to Eve or Duna, but I'm not going to do that this video, we're just going to be sending this up and yeah, we're, we're doing another one of these videos. All right, we're going to go to Mechjeb, Ascend Guidance, uh, Sure, Engage Autopilot. launch this mech jeb i don't have to have any more interaction with this at least for now mech jeb's going to take care of the rest for us while this is happening i want to talk about why i've been kind of absent lately intermittent videos that sort of thing um i'm making meshes in blender for a community on roblox so I've been a little busy with that and like it, it, it's going real slowly right now because I am getting back into Blender and I'm still 
um, working on to put topology and that stuff. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit of an adjustment from what I normally do. And there is an extra responsibility since they depend, uh, they kind of depend on me. I've, uh, Anyways, we are... We are deploying these and we are extending... our solar panels because... I don't remember if I put a uh, action group for this. Yeah, these relays, these relays are kind of heavy duty. Um, let me show you what they're replacing. They are replacing the Kerbodyne network. So these satellites will be going. We could theoretically have a more power powerful array if we kept those, but. They're like, those are like 25 years old in game time, which, yeah, it's, it, they, they need to go. And I want to do something, uh, I want to do something with them uh, to repurpose them. Um, I'm thinking of kicking them out of Kerbin's sphere of influence at incremental points along Kerbin's uh, Kerbin's orbit, so so we can have a much larger net, as it were. We are annoyingly in Kerbin's shadow right now. Now comes the annoying part, actually, of... Yeah, I'm gonna have to replace one of these. Because it did not launch properly, or at least... It's... It's not at a it's not at a consistent orbital trajectory. Yeah, we're going to go to Mech Jeb and have it execute this maneuver. Uh... Yeah, we have way too much fuel in this. I mean, that's not a bad thing if I want to do something with these later, at a later date, if I want to replace these at some point, we can send these to some other world, but uh, yeah, I put way too much fuel 
I was expecting to like have to put these at the very, very edge of Kerbin's sphere of influence, but honestly, I don't know how I got the other the Kerbidine network where it is now. And I'm I'm not sure if I even want to get rid of them, but they just they're they're very old and I don't know. Like the Kraken could do something with them at any time and I wouldn't be able to like get up there to fix it, so that's entirely why I'm putting these up here to replace them. Okay, we are... We might time warp soon? I don't know. This is an automated system flying for me, so... That's... That's entirely why I got mech jib, so I could do these maneuvers easier. Without having to do it all manually. All right, where were are we? Oh boy. I fucked up. We aren't supposed to, you know what? We have extra fuel, let's Let's execute this node. I'm going to wait a little bit. Um, one or two orbits once we do this maneuver. And I'm hoping that I don't screw this up because if I do, uh, 
we're gonna have to abort the mission. Um... All right, we're gonna go ahead. Yeah, we are we are way too close to the other satellite. I was hoping to put our orbit. I'm gonna see if we can't we can put our orbit um, at this point. I wasn't even paying attention. I should have um, made sure that we were in the correct place. We're going to wait. Uh, okay, we're going to wait a little bit. Thankfully, orbits are like clock, are like gears on a car, are like, yeah, gears on a car. Uh, anyways, they're they're, it, it's just like a set of gears. So we're just waiting for the right moment. Oh, great. We have to, uh... You know what? I think we'll dispose of this mission. Yeah, this didn't go as planned. I was... I was not... We aren't even at the right resonance. Uh, we aren't at the right resonant orbit for this. Execute next node. We're safely disposing of this mission. That didn't go according to plan at all. All right, I guess let's see this dive gracefully.
Okay. Well, that descended safely into the ocean. We'll try again next video. I don't know when that's going to be, but uh, yeah, we, we tried. We failed. But that's not to say we won't try it again. I mean, this is sandbox mode, so there's no, there's no, there's no telling what I'll do next video. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.